look seeing that nigga, man. Oh, it boils my because he really he 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 steers clear of me. You know what I'm saying? He steers clear. I catch that motherfucker eating any of my motherfucking food that he ain't paid because he ain't work or nothing, man. He a sorry homosexual, man. And he got all them Egyptian tattoos and shit all over him. Oh, man, I'm telling you, most high probably gonna fuck me up if I don't get rid of that nigga, man. Plus, you already told him about the truth, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They yeah. probably multiple times. Oh, man, I done spent hours schooling him when so, she... All when you motherfuckers, you, got, a, around, you got a camera going, right? So all you motherfuckers that heard the truth and rejected the truth, the Lord is gonna kill you. He's gonna slaughter you. He's gonna kill you. He's gonna he's gonna kill your whole family. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna destroy every everything you love and everything you hold dear. Everything, yeah. yeah. He's gonna destroy your whole life, your whole world. How we get tired of looking at these motherfuckers? After you don't hit them with the truth, they reject the truth. You get tired of people like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. well, we ain't gonna feel sorry for y'all neither, man. The Lord fucks y'all up and destroys you and disposes of you. We ain't gonna feel sorry. We ain't gonna pity you. We ain't gonna cry for you. See how, see how it's draining quick now? Yeah. And it is fully charged. You know, and I had it off until we got here. That's why the phones, that's when the phones always got programs running in the background. Did you drop it? It only happens when we come here. Oh, that, that could be it, too. It only happens when we come here. That hair's fine on us. It, could, it has to be what it is. It only happens when we come here. There goes Fred Durst. Fred Durst. Everything's rigged. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what the funniest shit ever was when Ohio State Buckeyes lost to Michigan State. Ah, they got beat down. Too. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, it was beautiful. I, I was laughing. I was celebrating. I was smiling. Yeah. I, Who's that? Is that guy? It's like, nah, he's a guy riding the buses again. He's down in Florida, ain't he? <laughs> they got down in Florida? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Papa guy here. Papa guy in Florida. Oh, for real? Where's little guy? Who he staying with? He's right here. He's still here. Oh, he's still here? Yes, he's still here. You watching our videos? Yeah. I know you watching the videos. I be looking at analytics on YouTube. All kind of people from Ohio watch our videos. It's either us, somebody else, yo, somebody watching our videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Somebody done heard this truth. Yeah. If you get on YouTube, you can tell, you can see everybody who watched the videos. That's how I know Truth Irishy watched the videos, because every time I check the analytics, motherfuckers out in Hawaii. There's all kind of hits from Hawaii watching our shit. You know, that's true piracy. He's stealing all kinds of scriptures from us. Yeah, right. That big faggot, man. I, I was watching one of them fa that faggot's videos yesterday. I was like, man, this dude is the biggest douchebag I've ever heard in my life, man. It's an Edomite. Yeah, he got to be an Edomite. If, it, if he's not an Edomite, he's the biggest, most no, faggot. That's, uh, that's obvious. He got to be an Edomite. It's too fucking obvious. Yeah. For example, like that clan. You ever watch uh, The Hunger Games? Yep. Yeah, that, that motherfucker with the square face. Oh, now, young, young motherfucker. I ain't seen it in like a minute. It's been a minute since I've seen um, it. It's the first one, Hunger Games, when the, the bitch that she, the, her boy, the dude she, the dude she liked. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's an Edomite, too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because Edomites all through Hollywood that they swindle in and, and do uh, uh, crafty writing. Like Woody, make like Woody Allen. Allen. Woody Allen look like a big faggot, man. Yeah, I could. I never liked no Woody Allen movies, man. I never watched that shit. Woody Allen, you know that book? I know Woody Allen. That Jew motherfucker with his glasses. Right, I ain't never watched nothing he's been in. Because he's a big faggot. I ain't never, right, nothing looks appealing. It ain't nothing appealing about a faggot. That's why you ain't watch that shit. Right. I ain't never watched nothing no you goddamn know? Woody Allen, man. We ain't watching that shit, man. Yeah, there's a lot of Edomites that's all in, all in Hollywood, man. That's they all the producers. All the producers all goddamn Edomites. The so-called Jews. Yeah, they allow their family to come in. Yep. There's some Jew motherfuckers that run Hollywood. They run They run the government. They run the media. Like Wolf Blitzer on CNN. That motherfucker. Mm. You don't know Wolf Blitzer. Yeah, I know that fact. Yeah. Everybody think Wolf Blitzer got all kind of... Like, I like That's my favorite show to watch. He got all the news. Man, he just giving you all that bullshit news, man. Ain't none of that shit true. 
Like that Nelson Mandela. Everybody talking about Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela been dead since June. He died like six months ago. But he been dead for like six months. He was a vegetable. Yeah, he a vet. He was a vet. He been dead. Now they just bringing it out. Oh, Nelson. And yeah, plus he was a terrorist. He was a goddamn terrorist. He was a communist. He down with the, the Soviet Union. Fuck that Canaanite. Yeah, goddamn Canaanite down with Shaka Zulu and them, a bunch of faggots. Because he come from the Canaanite royal bloodlines. And the black community was all in tears, man. Over a goddamn Canaanite. A Canaanite. And you kind of see Nelson Mandela look a lot like Obama. They got that same stupid look. When you look at him, they got that same retarded look up in their eyes, man. You know what I mean? Goddamn heathen, bro. And y'all crying over some Nelson Mandela. Y'all don't even know who the fuck Nelson Mandela is. First of all, what the fuck did he do for the black community? Oh, oh yeah. Like, t give me one black person in the black community that can tell me one thing Nelson Mandela achieved in his life. Tell me where he was born. Tell me what he did. You don't know nothing. Y'all don't know shit. Y'all don't even know what Martin Luther King Lord Martin Lucifer King got assassinated. Yeah, y'all think if you ask the average black person when it Martin Luther King lived, they thought he lived back in the 90s with Tupac. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't know when he was living. They don't even know what, what time period the civil rights movement had. These people are retarded, man. They don't know shit. They ain't got a goddamn clue. Only thing they know is what that TV taught them. You know what I'm saying? That's all they know. It, if the TV didn't teach it to you, you don't know it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Check bunch, this out. Bunch of dumbasses. Here you go, Deuteronomy 17 and 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me. Uh, like we all dwelling up in America right now, right? Right. And y'all to set a king upon you, like is not the president like a king? You know what I'm saying? So read that again. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy power giveth thee, and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are about me. Because all these other nations, they had kings. Keep going. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Keep going. Whom the Lord thy power ch shall choose, one from among thy brethren. One from among thy brethren. Keep going. Shalt thou make, shalt thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. So you're not supposed to have any king over you that's not from the nation of Israel. So Barack Obama, he, he's not an Israelite, he's a Hamite. Okay, because black people are not Hamites, black people are Israelites. The black people in America, they descend from Jacob. Obama, he come from goddamn Kenya. He ain't got nothing to do with no Israel. You know what I'm saying? Right. He got nothing to do with the Holy Bible. When he came here back in the um, early 90s, he, he even said out of his own motherfucking mouth. I still remember back then, man. He said, I'm not here for the American black man, you know? He don't give a goddamn about I'm you fools, for, I'm man. He, I'm here for my people, you know? You I know? mean, them, them other nations, they know that they separate from us, man, but Israel, Israel fucking retarded. Obama does the bidding in the international banking family. Yeah. He's here to do what Wall Street says to do. He's about getting paid and getting money. That's all he cares about. That's all niggas is about. That's all he cares about, bro. That's all niggas is about. Yep. That's all, and you're right, that's all, really. You know what I'm That's why they say he a capitalist, you know what I'm saying? That's why they relate to him. Yeah, all he cares about is getting money. That's it, living that high life. He a gangster, really. Actually. Yeah, damn Yep. You know, these people all fucking stupid. He ain't no, yeah, right. He's a goddamn gangster. Oh, just like that. Did you, did you hear about it just came out in the news? The lady who uh, came out with Obama's birth certificate? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just blew up in a plane? In a plane, mysteriously. Got killed in a plane crash? Yep. The bitch that brought out his birth certificate. Because everybody knows Obama's birth certificate was fake. That motherfucker ain't no American citizen, but, you know, we don't even give a fuck. Who gives a fuck anyway? Who gives a fuck? But it's true, though. He's not an American citizen. And the, per and the lady who came out with the birth certificate birth certificate just got blown up in a plane. Right, she should have known she was going to be marked. She got killed. Yeah, she did. They you know, killed Obama that bitch. came off his, they all, all these dumbass devil seeds. Because of his black skin, man. 
real shit, yo. But they all, you know, everybody started raising up against her, man. So, you know, she only got what the fuck she deserved. Yeah, she was. Being a hypocrite. Baby, you know? baby, you come, but, uh, but she knew too much. It's like the man that knew too much. <laughs> That's the bitch that knew too much. Yeah, just like the mom. They got yeah. motherfucker know too much. Got to take they got out. witnesses okay. went go. in the wrong place at the wrong time. They don't care if you was a good lady. It's like she didn't do nothing wrong. It's just you seen too much. Yeah. You gotta go. Yeah. That's how gangsters deal with shit. Release that shit to the up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Release yeah, that shit to the damn. God, damn. Damn. Here you go. Uh, this is Isaiah uh, 1 and 3. Um, the ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Cause these, yeah, because the Israel, these fools, they don't know. They don't consider the most high. You know what I'm saying? Because they believe in themselves. They don't believe, well, there is no such thing as God. There's no, they say there's no afterlife. You just gotta get money while you're here. It's every, uh, yeah, every man for himself. You know what I'm saying? That's and right. That's it. But you gotta be stupid to believe that, man. You gotta be stupid to believe there ain't no, there's no such thing as God. The Most High don't exist. You gotta be stupid. You lying to yourself, man. Oh, that's why the Lord liking y'all the animals. You know what I'm saying? You were dumb as an animal. You, an ox, a damn ant, a dog got more sense than you, motherfucker. <laughs> an animal got more sense than you people. Fucking dog. Right, right. Read that again. They say a pig is smarter than the dog, so I just... Yeah, the dogs is kind of dumb, too. But dogs are stupid, but dogs got more sense than y'all. Yeah, because a dog knows to come back home. Yep. You know, to yeah. his master. He's always going to do what his yep. master say. You know, a dog is stretched like he bowing in front of his master, too. The, yeah, yeah, he does yeah. bow. The cats bow. Cats too? Yeah. 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 So they know their master when they see him. Like the cats come up and start massaging you? Yeah. yeah. Master bitch to massage you. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Baby, yeah you home. better eat my pussy. Right. Good God. <laughs> right. Yeah. But Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Yeah, All right sinful right nation. Flat tire. A people black laden with iniquities. That's these people out here that laden with iniquity. Right. A seed of evil doers. A seed of evil doers. You got a number of faggots out here, adulterous ass women. Oh, uh, just like uh, you heard about the Church of Satan. Said they want to put. Uh, where was that at, man? Was that at Kansas or something? The Church they of wanted Satan? to put out a giant plaque next to the Ten Commandments. There's a big giant plaque in the Church of Satan want to put a plaque up right next to the Ten Commandments. Yeah, you know, the Church of Satan was formed in America. That's all you need to know about America. <laughs> right, right. This is the home of the Church of Satan. Sure. You, we can actually, if you write, if you can actually worship Satan, <laughs> you can walk down the street saying you, you love the devil and nobody can do nothing to you. You, real, you'll be right. protected. That's real. If you're a faggot, you get protected. That's real. If somebody if somebody hits you or attacks you and you're a faggot, they call it a hate crime. Mm -hmm. And you get extra time in prison because you because it was a hate crime because you attacked a faggot. That's a federal offense. That's a federal offense. You got all these goddamn, yeah, you got all these goops walking around. You got goddamn chinks and Hindus and Oh, this is all kind of foul shit going on out here, man. What's that? That bitch right there? You look nice. She's tasty, she don't you? She is thick and delicious. Well, I see all kind of tasty bitches. And when that time comes, the Lord gets that power, we're going to be snatching all these women up, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be raping women. We're going to be snatching them up. And that's all according to the word of the Lord. We're going to be chopping bitches' heads off, too. All, yeah, all these adulterous women. Yeah, yeah who don't repent, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to bow down to the Lord. Right, right. I, off with your head. You gonna, hey, off with your head. I'm you being know honest, be honest with you, man. I'm looking more forward to killing the bitches than fucking and raping them, you know? Yeah, because they did some foul shit you on foul this side. Foul shit, man. Got my blood boiling. On this you side. You know what I'm saying? Got my stress level high. Shit. Got my blood pressure. Got my blood pressure high and shit, man. And the Lord said in that day, you gonna cry, Lord, Lord, but yeah. He ain't gonna hear you. That's oh, let me get that. That's a bad. Scripture. You know what I'm saying? What you? That's a beautiful what, scripture. That's what He's. That's what that's talking about. Because um, Isaiah one and 
Cause, cause the reason, the reason your hoes is gonna get killed because you deny the Lord. That's why you gonna die. Cause we, we done told these hoes time and time again. Okay, they don't want to hear the truth. So the Lord's just gonna kill them, man. Like all you captain save a hoes out there, you always trying to swoop through and save a hoe. Like why you can't talking to all women like that? Talking bad about women. First of all, they ain't women. Goddamn hoes and sluts, man. Right. Give a fuck about these bitches. These bitches ain't shit, man. First of all, the Lord made uh, Adam a help me. Well, Eve will help me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They ain't meeting nothing. Meeting no halfway nothing. I mean, that's why I mean, I mean, he made Adam. He made Adam. At, uh, oh, that helped me. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, right, you're yeah. right, you're right. Actually, you're right, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's up, you read the Bible? I do. Oh, for real? What na what's your nationality? What do I look like? I'm, I'm asking you if just you know. Just a quick question. It's just a quick question. You see... Anyway. People are clueless, man. Clueless. And they don't, that's why I said, that's why the scripture... Uh, that's why in America, they, they did away with that word Israel. You know what I'm saying? They don't want nobody to know about, they know they're Israelite. Mm -hmm. Uh, go ahead. Here you go. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's a lot of those women. There's women, a lot of women that laugh at you when you come out and teach them. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Actually, my friend, I didn't have my garment on. I was so much in the spirit, I didn't put my garment on yet. But yeah, they're, like they see me wearing my potato sack. They're like, what the fuck is you wearing? Right. All these stupid ass black bitches. Lord, I can't wait till the Lord gets here. No, you man. know, I can't wait till the Lord gets here. That just shows you they don't know they don't know how to read. Cause they ain't no ain't no, when the Lord gets here, man, ain't gonna be no uh, no picnic. Right. But hold up. You know? But where was they at when we was telling them that this, the Christmas was wicked and evil? Where they was at? You know what I'm saying? They had a problem with that. Okay. Every time we read a scripture <laughs> in the Bible it said no Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No virgin birth. You an Israelite, you're not a Gentile. They had a problem with everything we said. When we told them they was an Israelite, they had a problem with it. Like it was like a broken record. Like, uh, right, you know what I'm saying? They had a problem with it. We was like, cause actually, cause you know, like polite and then they like the woman's the queen, right? But actually when you tell a woman when she's an Israelite, you're lit, pretty much saying she's the queen. Yeah. Even though we didn't like to say that like that, you know what I mean? Cause y'all some hoes. And bitches, but really, if you an Israelite, because the word Israel means prince of God, so if you're a female, you a princess of God, you know what I'm saying? But these bitches, they don't, they don't want to take on that name Israel, you know what I'm saying? Because the scriptures say, My people shall be willing in the day of our power. So these hoes, they the women ain't gonna follow you until we get in our power, that's the only time. So, yeah, right, that's it. that's it. So, don't, don't. So you wasting your time trying to preach to women and trying to educate women and try you trying to teach your woman the truth like hey baby I'm gonna break down Revelation to you this is the uh, you know what I'm saying this is the seven heads and the ten horns and man man you wasting your goddamn time man you don't teach the woman shit you know what I'm saying not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. I remember your boy Dave did that. Dave came out and he's like, can you break down the revelation to me so I can break it down to my girl? I'm like, you don't even know. And you should have saw the demon that he was kicking uh, with. Uh, An old school hoe. Uh, that fuck that said she ain't happy unless she have like a 12, what'd she say, 12, 14 inches? She need at least 12 inches. Ooh, wow. me. She said she need at least 12. Damn. Wow. You know? That, that's. But I'm just saying, man, I know Dave be watching the videos, so you know it's true. Hey, I'm just testifying to the truth, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing. Because y'all don't know about the truth. Man, we've been out here teaching the truth for years. Y'all still ain't listening. Y'all still asleep. Still don't know shit. Y'all still in a goddamn daze. You living in fantasy land. Still calling yourself black. Oh, I'm an African-American. Which one is it, American or African? Oh, that's two goddamn different continents. Right. Yeah, that's a state of confusion. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, 
Have we not prophesied in thy name? That's how they say in the church is too loud in Jesus. <laughs> they, you know what I mean? They be in the spirit with that dumb right, shit, right, man. Right, right, right. That shit, y'all, y'all wicked ass preachers, man. These preachers in these churches are a bunch of goddamn demons. Mm. They, they are a bunch of demons. Rob Parsley, TD Snakes. Mm. What's that faggot's name? Uh, the one that got caught molesting Creflo little boy. Dollar. Or, Creflo or no, Dollar. Uh, about, um, uh, uh, Eddie Money. Eddie, what's Eddie Longstone. Eddie Longstone. What's his name? <laughs> I said Eddie Money. <laughs> Eddie Long. <laughs> Eddie Money's a rock star. Hey. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, Eddie Money. He go hard. He go hard. Uh, what's his name? Eddie. What's his name? Eddie. I call him Eddie Longstone, but it's yeah. Eddie Long. Eddie, Eddie Long. Long. Eddie so all, man, people Eddie love Long you. Oh, what's that gospel? <laughs> There's a gospel singer, a famous gospel singer, just got caught giving a head to somebody. Oh yeah, that's all over the net too. Uh, what's Kurt that fact? That's all over the net too. Kurt Franklin. Yeah. No, not no, Kurt, Kurt Franklin. Franklin. This is the other fact. I can't remember. I can't remember the fact. Yeah, name. I, I was reading it like three or four weeks ago. So yeah. all these preachers, all these, all these people that claim they love the Lord, they're a bunch of faggots, the child molesters. Like the Catholic Church is, all, they're all child molesters. Right. Yeah, it's an actual video. He's a pastor, man. Fucking pastor and everything. He's a he's a popular singer. I can't remember because I don't follow. I can't. Like, I don't follow oh, these. Shit. I just see it. The right, big, right, the big right. thing right now. Yeah, yeah. Because everybody, oh, everybody's amazed. Like I can't believe he was sucking dick. Right. Why? Why? Why, why, why can't he looks like a faggot? Why can't you believe it? You can tell too. Yeah. So all, all all these people you see on your TV talking about the love of Jesus, they're all faggots. Rob Parsley be sucking dick. Uh, Rob Parsley sucks dick. Uh, motherfucking TD Snakes. His son got caught fucking another dude in a car. He got caught. TD Snakes. Like father, like son. Where do you think he got it from? Snakes. Just like Dusty Rose, the wrestler. Yeah. Just like his son, it was Gold Dust, Dusty. the faggot. Dusty. Yeah, because like if you, if you're a faggot, your son's gonna be a faggot. You know what I'm saying? Because Dusty Rhodes, he's a big faggot. He talk like a faggot. Like even everybody say he's black. Cause he is an Israelite, you know what I'm saying? But he's a big faggot, and look at his sons, the biggest faggot in wrestling. The, he's, his character isn't even a faggot. You know what I'm saying? Just like T.D. Snakes, his son's a faggot, he's a faggot. Magic Johnson, I mean, uh, yeah, Magic Johnson, his son's a big faggot. Is he? Yeah, cause Magic Johnson's a faggot. And here it is, this motherfucker got AIDS and he still got friends. You know what I'm saying? Still got a bad I ain't trying to hang around nobody that got AIDS. You know, I ain't trying to catch that shit. You ain't trying to catch me slipping. You bump into me, you know, you don't know what could happen. Exchange some fluids in that motherfucker. Drinking after the same cups and glasses in this house <laughs> and shit. Using the same forks and spoons and shit. Yeah, it's a Magic Johnson, man. You, you, you motherfucker, you got AIDS, man. You got, got, you got HIV. But you can tell Magic's a fact, too, just by looking at it. He is a fact. How you get AIDS, you know what I'm saying? Because right. everybody know AIDS started with the faggots. And he got it a long time ago, back when only faggots was getting it. You know what I'm saying? So he had to be getting fucked in the ass to get that AIDS, yeah, HIV, bro. Magic Johnson. Him and Isaiah, after they played Detroit and the Lakers played each other, they would kiss after each game. Straight on the lips, man. Yeah, they probably did. They some big faggots, man. Me and yeah, boom, yeah. somebody kiss me on the lips, it's gonna be a, a bloody brawl. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a bloody fucking brawl. Yeah, because ain't none of them athletes, ain't none of them coming out with no kind of truth. They, 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 they're the ones keeping people in sleep more than anyone else. The athletes. Because all people, they sit at home and they watch Sports Center all day. They just trapped in a goddamn daze. And the only people they listen to is the athletes. And the athletes are just guiding their life. You know what I'm saying? This 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 cement is like a conductor for cold, man. Oh, that's so real. It cold it holds it more. <laughs> what y'all Chinese? Y'all hate y'all trying to uh, attack America? The Chinese? The China's trying to invade America? We, well, I got my eye on you Chinese motherfuckers. <laughs> Let me get this one. Let me finish this. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And they don't even know the name. Now, they ain't thinking about the name. Right. If you tell them the name of the Lord, they automatically, as soon as you say it, they just, they, they, they just reject it automatically. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They're like, I don't need that. That doesn't mean nothing to me. Right. And in thy name have, have cast out devils. In thy name, I'll keep going. And in thy name 
All done that, many wonderful works. And this actually go to a lot of people that's actually in the truth too. That don't mm -hmm. woke up to the truth and actually knew the name. Right. Because you got a lot of people that came out, they cursed out devils. We, they was out here teaching, hitting people with scriptures. They knew the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Yep. They cursed people out. That, but where you at now? Keep going. And then will I profess. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. I never knew you. The Lord don't know you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Yep. You got a lot of people that, just because you come out here and teach the Bible, that doesn't mean you're right. That doesn't make you righteous. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people come out, they, do, they just do this to put on a big show. Like it's a big act to them, to put on a play. It's they, cool as hell until it gets cold outside. Yeah, they, you know, they, you it's know, cool they, to do. They want to get some hits on YouTube and be popular. But yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? Want to be seen on the computer screen and shit. They, yeah. they want to be seen. Get some thumbs ups. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, everybody want to get their 15 minutes of fame. Here you go. This is a good one right when here. When they too. so stupid, they don't know you're not going to get famous teaching the truth. People are going to hate you. Well, you get yeah. famous, but, yeah, but, but, but for, for the most part, people are going to hate you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to find people going to be looking at you. Yeah. Through the corner of their eye and shit. Yeah. yeah. You know? the, the, real, the real brothers are going to love you, you know what I mean? The real, you know what I mean? They're going to love you, but yeah, the world is going to hate you. That's a small number. Exactly. That's a tiny fucking number. But because you, you're right, though. You will be famous in a way we be... Yeah. We be infamous. <laughs> yeah, right. we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, GMS is infamous. The motherfuckers hate GMS. They be like, these GMS motherfuckers, we gonna get you motherfuckers. That's good. They everybody always plotting against hey, you. Hey, you know we welcome many battles. Man, we welcome many spiritual battles around here. Y'all know America's gonna be destroyed. Y'all gonna be destroyed right along with it. Yeah, you going straight to slavery. Y'all about to go butt chug. They didn't look like devils. some butt chuckers, man. Fucking devils. They have no they have no idea about the impending destruction and the doom. <coughs> goddamn Edomites. Just look fucking at them faggots, man. Fucking Edomites walking around without no goddamn chains on them, man. They got, yeah, they got... They, they supposed to walk around with permission slips. Remember when you was in high school and you weren't allowed to go down the hallway without permission slip? Right. And Edomites, he's supposed, you can't go nowhere without a permission slip. Trying to avoid the His hall. master, they got to give him permission. To, but I got permission to be, I'm going to the store for my master. Right. You know what I'm saying? Here you go. Amos 4 and, um, and um, 18. 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Oh, that's a lot of them fake ass Christians. Yeah, I can't wait till Jesus comes Jesus? back. Jesus, the day of Jesus. And they teaching all these lies. They believe in all these fairy tales. You know what I'm saying? Right. Thinking Jesus loves everybody. Jesus is gonna give everybody a hug. <laughs> so you, if you're one of those people, you don't want the Lord to come back. Yeah. Trust me, man. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. it ain't gonna. It, it's gonna be ugly. When the Lord comes back, it's gonna be gruesome, man. Mm. Keep going. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? <sighs> The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Yeah, the day of the Lord is darkness. When the missiles start dropping and destruction, when that when the destruction happens, there's this sun, there ain't gonna be no sun. You ain't gonna see the stars, no sun, no moon. The sky is gonna be full of nothing but smoke. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be nothing but fire, smoke, screaming, wailing. Death. Death. You're gonna you gonna hear bits of screaming, little babies screaming. It's gonna be terrible, man. This is gonna be the worst day of a lot of you devil's life, man. Can't come soon as man it is. Yeah, right, it can't come soon enough. Man, man. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him, shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Right, that's, that's the day of the Lord is darkness and no light in it. And we don't get no more clear than that. That's what the Bible says. Your preacher ain't teaching that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't teach you that Sunday school. That's why I love the end of the Old Testament, man. Because it just gets fired. Hey, hey, them all them books, all them books. Them Egyptologists ain't getting you prepared for the last days. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting them prepared for shit. But to be stuck on stupid. 
like he said, like, like the elders were saying, the, the main book of the Egyptians is the book of the dead. It's for dead people. You gotta be dead. But God for the dead. Yeah, you got you gotta be dead to be an Egyptologist. You gotta be in a dead state. What the Lord said, He said, I'm the God of the living and not the dead. Hey, that's good. That's what's that, Mark? Let's get that. I got another pause. You think Cuffy? Right, right. You think um, you think that faggot ass general can handle can buy us a heater to come out here with some propane? Be out here like the NFL. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know the NFL sideline? They got all that good shit. Right, they got all heaters. That good shit. In the summertime, they got coolers. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. General Gahana, he look like the black Andy Reid. <laughs> 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 well, they ain't going out in the cold anyway. <laughs> you know, nasty Nate, he ain't coming out when it's cold. I don't know what You don't even see them, you don't see them play clips. Right. Nah, man. Here you go. You think he'd be good out there in the cold, too, his big old fat ass. You think that'd keep him warm. <laughs> right. Joe, 1 and 15. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. And, it's, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. <laughs> That's obvious. What did it say? Read that game up for us. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. That's what y'all. That's what we out here saying. That's what. That's why we came out here. Right. You know and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Yeah, that was it. Uh, I, got, I got something back here. What's that you asked for that was in Mark? I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, the God in Living? Oh, okay. It's like Mark 11 or 12 or something. I, can't, I think it's 11, maybe, no, 20, Mark 22, actually. Actually, is there Mark 22? I think it's 22. I'm just going by the Spirit. I can't remember. It's been a minute. No, Mark only goes up to 16. Is it 16? Mark goes up to 16. 16... Yeah. What chapter was that? Maybe it was Mark 11 or something. So I remember because he because that's when they was talking about if you die and if you don't drive a seed, what happens? Well, you ain't got to do it. I think it might be 11. I'm getting numbers mixed up in my head. Big ass bitch right there, boy. Oh, what you got? You want to trip the gloves and gloves freezing? You good? Oh, go ahead. Ecclesiasticus 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, of all, and behold us. And send that fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Mm. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and let them see that power. Well, they, don't, they don't look for the Lord until something fucked up happens. Hey, get them Uncle Tom's on camera. They go to CCP. Oh, get them fake. I'm just saying, they got some Uncle Toms, man. They just trying to help further, like, give you a ticket or something. I don't know how to find this group. Fucking faggots, man. Hey, look, Jordan Maxwell's on that bus. Look. You'll see Jordan Maxwell. Get Jordan Maxwell on camera. That motherfucker was dead right now. You don't see him? I don't even know where he looks like. Jordan Maxwell was dead. Yeah, Jordan Maxwell do look dead. He look like a shriveled up piece of shit, man. He's he about to drop dead. He, he pushes that stupid The Howard uh, Shaw is a the the son. Oh, that you know? too. Yeah. But he can't make his mind up. Sometimes he's an alien. Sometimes oh, he's yeah, a yeah, you're right. I forgot. I see you can do push that shit. Yeah, Jordan Wax, Maxwell, you about to get fucked up, man. Jordan Wax. Yeah, wax. The he Lord looked, about a wax. He, he, he looks like a wax. A he looks wax. His face is wax pale. Right. You know what I'm saying? He looks dead, man. The most high is about to fuck Jordan Maxwell up. He's out of the game almost, man. He ain't got much longer. That's good, too, man. Get your fat piece. Got, got, you see how big his goddamn chin is? His chin oh, come out fat. there. Like a pig. Look like a one. You see when them hoes, them torn, them hoes? The croak and their chin gets real big and yeah. puffs up. That's what happens when you eat got a bad diet. You eat on that pork. So Jordan Maxwell eating all kind of pork, man. Uh, what you got? You get re you got more than that. Start yeah. at the beginning again. That's right. a bad scripture, man. Ecclesiasticus chapter 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, of all, and behold. Is that us. pointing to the ground? And oh, send okay. that. Fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. 
Lift up thy hand against the strange nations. Let me call it, do I need to call an ambulance? Do I need to call that. Esau? <laughs> I gotta call Esau for you. They held that cold air like. Right, right. They get hit with that. You might get hit with that radiation from mm. Fukushima. Mm. Hey, you know, you know they dumping the water in the ocean. Yeah. Ecclesiastic is 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, of all, and behold us. And send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Let I, like America don't seek after the most high. The mo that's why it's gonna be destroyed. Keep going. Lift up thy hand against the strange nations and oh, let them it. see thy power. It's more twelve. Oh twelve. I knew it was like eleven, twelve, mm -hmm. something like that. Now go ahead. As thou wast sanctified in us before them, so be thou magnified among them before us. And let them know thee as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O God. Yeah, o God. yeah in the kingdom, all the nations, they're going to bow down, man. Bow down. Just like that goes right in, like with Isaiah, the second chapter. So in the kingdom, the Israel, we're going to teach all nations the law. Everybody's going to do, do what the law says. They're going to do what we say. If they don't, they can change. They get, they get, well, there's Christmas. Like the scriptures say, we're going to rule with a rod of iron. Would you, mm -hmm. hey, bring that out. That's good on there. Okay. And as touching the dead, this is for bro polite, no light. And as touching the dead, that they rise, have ye not read in the book of Moses how in the bush the Most High spake unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Right. You therefore do greatly err. Yeah, right, because the, the Most High is a God of the living, that's not a, a God of the that's dead. Bad. That's bad. But yeah, like we said, here, the main book of the Egyptians, mm -hmm. yeah. the, main, the main writings of the Egyptians is the book of the dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When somebody dies, they all bug out. Because the Egyptians, they, they're so afraid of death, they're so scared to die like some little bitches. They'll take somebody and turn them into a mummy. Cause that, that's because they're afraid of death. They have no faith. You know what I'm man, saying? You tell you what, you coming to this truth, man. Death would be a motherfucking vacation, man. That, blessing. That'd be welcomed. You know what I mean? For real. You don't want to die a violent death, though. But you, you know, it's still anything's better than this. Right. Anything better than this shit, man. But my prayer, one of my prayers is, man, I want, I want to be get power to destroy the enemy, man. You know, I want to be one of them, one of them angels that's helped bring righteousness back in this world, man. I want to see the stupid look on these goddamn devils' face when they start suffering, you right know, especially Israel. When they take that child's leg and start, you Even, know, hoping. They gonna be easy to walk that shit. Right. Got the stick, the fire, and turn that motherfucker. Yeah, look at this cold winter. It's not even winter time yet. It's, and what, what's today's date? It's not even it's, the 21st yeah, yet. it's like the, t the 12th. It's already freezing out here. So what happened, yeah. Wait till February. January. February is supposed to be the cold It's supposed to be. I don't know what the truth is or whatever. So, yeah, if you if we's out here, what's that movie, The Day After Tomorrow? Yeah. When oh, a yeah. new Ice Age yeah. came in and fucked everything up? Fucked everything if something up. like that happened, there'd be all kind of cannibalism. There ain't gonna be no yeah. plants. You ain't gonna be eating no plants. You're gonna be Matter eating. Fact. And the animals are gonna, you're gonna hunt the animals out real quick. That movie you were just telling me about with Lawrence Fishburne in it, oh, and that yeah, looked that. like some day after tomorrow. What was that, the shit, compound or something? With cannibalism uh, in it. Yeah, it was some Lawrence Fishburne movie that took place in the future Ice Age. And there was all kind of cannibals eating each other. It's called the compound or the complex or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. You seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ohio State University. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Liz, I'm gonna get that, man. Let me read this. I'm gonna get that real quick. I'm gonna skip this scripture. I'm gonna get this right quick. Look at that Matthew 24.
bad investment. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just want to read this real quick. This is Matthew 24 and uh, 20. Actually, 19. And woe unto them that uh, that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Mm. Mm. But ye, but, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, right. neither on a Sabbath day. So you don't you don't want your flight to be in when all the hell breaks loose. Storm you know, conditions. Yeah, cause it can get a lot colder than this, man. This ain't shit. This ain't shit. Yeah. Oh, no. This ain't shit. In some parts of the country, they don't have like minus forty uh, below zero. Yeah. That's, that's probably average in Russia. Yeah, that, that is average in Russia. You know? Uh, the water right. Instantly. That's why nobody could ever, uh, ever overthrow the Russians or invade Russia and defeat the Russians. Uh, when uh, Hitler tried to invade Russia, he couldn't defeat him because it was too goddamn cold. Just like when Napoleon went up to Russia. Hey, it was too goddamn cold. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can't fuck with that cold, man. There ain't nothing to play with. He said, "But pray uh, ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on a Sabbath day. Right. For this shall be great tribulation, such was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be." See, see that's when they're gonna call on the Lord when all the just tribulation starts, when all hell comes knocking on their door. You know? Because you are, you know, when it gets cold outside, a woman, a woman <coughs> is helpless. Yep. She's too cold. She can't even move. Can't do nothing. You know, it's too cold. I can't do it. Oh, I can't they walk move. around here naked, though. They walk right. out in the cold, half naked, though. Oh, but now that when she's out there all day long, got to sleep out in it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They got to work in it. Like we said, it get, it get get to a point. The woman would be so helpless if the heat gets turned off and the electric gets turned off. Like we said, the the woman's baby would end up turning to an icicle. You like you see like a little baby just like a baby sickle just froze up in the corner. And shit, the woman probably taking it and eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's free, man. It said except those days should be shortened, there sh there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. That's right. And that's the point on that. Yeah, because this is some suffering shit we're going through, man. This uh this captivity, this ain't easy. It ain't easy on none of us, shit. But the two-thirds, they got what you call Stockholm Syndrome, you know? Esau done beat it in your ass so long that, you know, you've been a slave, you done, found, you done got used to Esau. You done got used to your slave master. You started loving your slave master. That's why they look you at know? us like we're stupid. Yep. You start loving your master. You start begging your master for, for all he wants and needs. And not even think about the Lord until he, like I said, when that tribulation come knocking on your motherfucking door and, and stubbing his, shoving his foot up your ass, then you say, Lord, Lord, could you please, you know, I'll, I'll serve you, Lord. You know, if you just this last time, help me out, Lord. Goddamn wicked ass son of a dumb ass niggas, stupid ass niggas. Niggas is dumb as fuck. They don't know shit. They're a bunch of goddamn idiots. Black people. Black people are fucking foolish. Black. Simple ass motherfuckers. Simple ass people. You know America's gonna be destroyed? Yeah. So you know America's about to be destroyed? Very soon. Very soon? Very soon. Yep. Oh, what? The most high gonna destroy America. Like thermonuclear missile. You know who the most high is? Yeah. The most high is, he's the highest. Do you believe? You don't believe in God, do you? Vladimir Putin? Like, no, you don't believe in God, do you? He's like God. Just man here on earth but you don't believe in God do you? If, if you're right now hold on let's go back to Vladimir Putin that's a good point if well, Vladimir Putin he, he plays a crucial role in that destruction he he's, knows he's got Putin, the notes. right he just came out just like a couple days ago and said if America puts those defense missiles in place over there in Eastern Europe he's going to nuke America he, said that. he just said that not America but no Oh, they want to strike, but they gonna shoot. They gonna shoot missiles on America. Yeah, eventually. Eventually, yeah. yeah. But those strategic, where they put those those defense systems, they gonna preempt the strike with nuclear weapons. Yeah. And then eventually, <laughs> they gonna start flying. But guys, you guys might be right about that part. Oh, it's coffee. You believe in the Bible, man? You ever read the Bible, man? Uh, I read it. I but believe it all. you don't believe in. Yeah. You don't believe in God, like I said. Well, you don't believe, you've been taught that bullshit your whole life. Right, it's prophesied in the Bible that America's going to be destroyed by fire. Because really, you don't know the Bible. The only thing you know about the Bible 
was all that bullshit everybody done taught you about it. All that church bullshit. All that, all that soft shit. All that, oh, love. Jesus loves love you, you baby. I love you, brother. Jesus is going to heal you. I love you, brother. I, I grew up, I grew up in Orthodox. Yeah, I oh, Orthodox, dude. Oh, that's scary. That sounds like it. That sounds real scary right there. So, did you get molested by them dudes? No, you so-called Jew. You don't look like a Jew. You're a Jew. You need a Jew. You down with the Beastie Boys? Oh, oh yeah, you down with the Beastie if the, Boys? If the, if the lightning bolt Nazi people come, I'm gonna die. Why is that? So, like, but who did the Nazis kill? Hitler was a fucking Jew. Yeah, Hitler was a Jew. He used to give me a hug. Right. That's like, hey, he's my brother. He's a bastard child of the Rothschilds. You, you, know, know you know who the Rothschilds are? Yeah, I know who the Rothschilds are. He's a bastard child of the Rothschilds. Yeah, Hitler was he's a He's an illegitimate son of, um... You, you, you ain't buying all that propaganda, are you? Propaganda. That World War II propaganda bullshit. Oh, uh, six million Jews died in the Holocaust. Hitler killed all these Jews. That shit never happened, bro. That's a big fairy tale. That's that, that's that bullshit propaganda they push so that those Jews could go over there and take the land of Israel. Yeah, that's, that's the only reason they came up with that story. And it also it helped them take over the world, too. That's why, you know, the so-called Jews, they control America, lock, stock, and barrel. They can they control Hollywood. They control the media. They control the world. They control the media. They print the money. They own the banks. Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve. All so-called Jews. The banks. All so-called Jews. Everything is ran by the so-called Jews. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Hey, let's get that for him. You know, Joe. Joe. Get that. Get that. Get that. I'm about to read something. I'm about to my phone. All right, go ahead. Yeah, we got a for you, man. We just, we just coming out with the truth, you know? We ain't hating on you just because you a so-called dude. And we don't know where you really from. Guys. But we, this is the truth, though, man. Uh, what you got that Job yeah, man? Go ahead and get that for us. Job 924. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Who controls the planet Earth? So-called Jews. Yeah. So you you know you so-called Jews. You already know. Well, all I can say is, are you a Jew true, on your? I'm not, I'm not in on it. Are I'm you a Jew on your father's side or mother's what side? You mean you ain't in on it? You need a mic. Let me ask you though: Are you a Jew on your father's side or mother's side? Um, I, I, is both. your dad a Jew? My, my, both. My father converted. My mother. Oh, your father? What is your father? He converted. There's no such thing as conversion. Who's your father? He was a Polish Catholic. When he was a Polish. Kid. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Read that. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of, of the judges they thereof. Covered, covered the faces of the judges. Like the so-called Jews, they try to say that they're the actual Jews from the, the ancient Israelites. And they're not the ancient Israelites. Actually, originally, all the ancient Israelites, they were all dark-skinned people. So how is that the ancient how is Israel gonna leave the promised land all black then everybody's gonna return every last one on white, not a single dark skinned one? That's funny how you say that because it just came up. Check this out. Interesting quotes from Gabor Abdul Nazor, the second president of Egypt. This is one of his quotes that he said. Can I, any, heard, I heard GMS talking about this. Oh, did you? Yep. Okay. Can anyone shed light on this statement? I've heard this discussion more than once. Now, who said this? Read that again. His name, that? His name is um, Gamal Abdul Nasser. This is the Egyptian? Yeah. Or however you say it. The Egyptian president. Was it back in the 80s or something? Or yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Nasser was before... Was like, right, right, before Mubarak. Right. No, before um, the guy who got assassinated. Well, he's back in the day. We got it. George Freiman, in his book, The End of the Jewish People, Currently state that Europeans claiming to be Jews are nothing more than Hebrew-speaking Gentiles. The late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdul Nasser, stated on television, you, the Jews, would never be able to live here in peace because you left here black but came back white. 
We cannot <laughs> accept you. They left black and came back white. Right. The Jews in the Bible are the so-called, these niggas, who you call niggas walking these streets, who you call Negroes, African-American. Those are the real Jews, you know? See how it's draining real quick? We told you, man. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Else. Out here, man. And at the same time, though, I'm gonna tell you something. That's America spying. At, at the, the same time, degree. there's the real children in Israel that are scattered among all nations. So some of our people are still scattered among uh, you devils. Like, uh, even though them so called Jews are devils, they're heathens, because they're actually Hebrew Edomites. They're not Israelites. You know, everybody, Esau. Esau is red. They you know, are Hebrews. They're Hebrew Edomites. That's why they call themselves Shemites, not Israelites. Because Esau is a Shemite. He's also a Shemite, just as Jacob is a Shemite. But uh, they are, some of our people scattered among them devils. You know what I mean? What you got? Oh, I was about to read Revelation 1. Okay, okay, okay. Just like you ever hear Jack Kirby? Like we always say, Jack Kirby is an Israelite. Comic books. He created the Marvel Universe. He created the Avengers, Captain America. You don't like comic books straight up? He created the Incredible Hulk. You never read oh, Stan Lee. No, Stan Lee's a, he he stole all the credit. He's right. a big faggot. Okay. I don't I don't know. I don't Stan Lee had no really? talent. So that's how you see uh, I told you he eat a bike, man. Oh uh, yes, he could that's be. That's an Israel like thing to be attracted to comic books. Oh uh, yeah. Superheroes, you know. Yeah, it's an Israel like thing. Oh yeah. Superman was created by Nah, ain't no Jew created. Nah. An Israel like created. An Israel like created. Superman was created by Joe Siegel. Joe Siegel probably is an Israelite. But actually, Superman's based on the Bible, you know that? His name is Kel El. Right. And they said in Hebrew, that means the voice of God, or it could mean all God. That's what it means. El, call, and they, call, and they, call means voice, and El is a word of his name for right. God. That's true, yeah. So that, that, that's Hebrew. Yeah. Just like, and also, there's a lot of occult symbolism in Superman. His symbol, what it, actually, it wasn't originally, like, originally he had a triangle. But yeah. his newer symbol is an upside down pentagram on his chest. It's a pentagram. Look at Superman's symbol. It's an upside down pentagram. With the S and the snake in the middle of it. it goes back to the serpent. Because them so-called Jews, they worship the serpent. The so-called Jews, they own the comic book industry. You know what I'm saying? They own Marvel Comics. They, well, they own, Marvel's like owned by own. Disney now, but Disney, the Jews well, don't own they Disney. Own Hollywood, right. there you go. They own everything. They, own, they run, they own everything, bro. Mm -hmm. But let me read this. I mean, one. if you if the if you set up the, the rule of the world, man, you should own everything. 